All right, let's go. Not great, but not terrible either. I always forget when all these text boxes are. Yo, what's up, Mia? Thanks for the host. Thanks for the good luck. I will certainly need that. Okay, could be better. Ran into a few issues when I was starting stream, so not starting off with the greatest of, uh, of days. For whatever reason, when I was trying to plug in my capture card to the USB hub, it killed my internet. I figured it out eventually, but... Uh, I, I can't use the USB hub with the uh, the capture card. But took that took me a little while to figure it out. Yo, Cooper Barry, thanks for the good luck. No worries. I figured it out eventually, so I just have to figure out a different way of doing things.
I hope that's right. I think that's right. That was four mids in a row. So that should be right. Yep, okay. For whatever reason, that didn't feel like it was that far. I guess it really doesn't roll RNG that much. Alright, let's go for extend a minute, see if we can get this. Know the pattern for that. When it doesn't jump. I don't know how many slashes I need to do for this. I think I'm best just doing none. Uh, the keys pattern though, that's gonna really ruin everything. We can make it through. Oh, I think I think we're ruined. We'll see. Yeah, we're we're probably ruined for sure. You need to play through the game again. Yeah, definitely. Definitely should play it again. Great game. Alright, let's see if we can get this. It's high, high, mid, mid, mid. I doubt we're gonna get it. Yeah. It's not happening. Okay. That's what I figured. Oh, that's fine. Uh, we can always do the backup. Backup's not too bad. Oh man, I'm going to be down to half a heart going into D1. That's going to be interesting. I should get some heart drops probably. No heart drops so far. <laughs> okay. This will be kind of sketchy if I don't get any hearts.
No hearts whatsoever. Are there any hearts in these bushes? Okay, there's one. That at least helps a little bit. And I didn't waste any time on that, which is good. Because now we're going to be at a heart. I would have died if I didn't get a heart. I'm gonna die, actually. Oh, I got lucky. I should have died there, for sure. Alright, looks good so far. Pretty decent start. The only problem is we're down 100 rupees. All right, we're good. You always have trouble with the thwomp boss in the mini games. You just gotta learn the patterns and everything. Uh, thwomp boss for sure. You just gotta learn the pattern and learn the setup for the the quick kill. Uh, mini games, it's just playing them. It's all practice. Like, it's all practice and repetition. The dancing one is the one that gets you the most. A little tip for the dancing minigame is keep a steady beat. Even if there's no, like, note, keep a steady beat. You can press start and it won't do anything. So, like, especially for getting, like, the bomber's ring, what I do is I I just keep keep mashing like in time. Keep pressing AA, 
start A, start B, whatever I need to, to press to just keep a steady rhythm. Because a lot of the fails are usually because your rests are inconsistent. So if you can maintain a steady rhythm, even with the rests, you're going to be fine. going to need to do a minute here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, not bad. Like, this actually isn't too bad. It would have been faster for me to, to walk out if I did... <laughs> if I did that properly, it would have been faster to uh, save and quit there. But because... I hit the map instead of saving quit. That was slow. Oh yeah, I need to remember to buy a shield. That's one of the big things that you need to do, is buy a shield in this route. That was close. That was very close. There we go. Do I still speedrun Link's Awakening? Uh, I want to get back into Link's Awakening at some point. I haven't done it in a while. There is going to be a Link's Awakening DX tournament sometime over the summer. I want to try and join that, depending on what category they do. But yeah, most likely I'll, I'll get back into that probably like June or July. Also part of the reason why I want to get back into Link's Awakening is so I can start doing like trilogy runs. So there's the Game Boy Trilogy on speedrun.com. No one has done any runs of it. It's uh, Link's Awakening DX, no any percent no woob, uh, ages any percent, and seasons all essences. Back to back to back. So I want to try that at some point. Obviously, I need to de-rust ages and seasons, and then I need to actually learn no lube. And then, like, 
getting very ambitious, I would end up adding Minish Cap onto that to do the uh, handheld, uh, the handheld uh, relay or whatever. Because I want, I want to get back into Minish Cap as well. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, things happening with Minish Cap lately, and I want to try and uh, beat my time. My time is awful. Oh, I have a shield. Actually, it might even be better to just use the shovel like we normally do. Because you get the, the same... You get pretty good um, movement with the shovel rather than the shield. Minish Cap is a, is a fun game. I definitely enjoy that one. And it's not like too terribly hard or anything. Oh, I, I should put on the power ring, shouldn't I? Ah, eh, whatever. I'll put it on for swoop, maybe? Do I want to put it on for Swoop? I feel like I probably should. I think it'll depend a little bit on what my uh, health is looking like. Like, my health is not looking great. Now it's looking good. Funny how that works. Oh yeah, when Link jumps in a minecart in Minish Cap, it's the funniest thing. It's like they realized how slow the minecarts are in this game. So they're like, let's put it to 11. Swoop. Let's go. Yeah, the mine cards here are very slow. I got two. I'll take two. Two out of three ain't bad. Alright, I'm grabbing that heart. Just in case.
I should be fine, yeah, with Maple for sure. It's a little bit of a longer, um, longer manip, so I should definitely be fine. Oh yeah, I gotta, uh, do this. Shield escape is pretty tricky. While also maintaining the, uh, the RNG. Oh, I missed that split, whatever. Oh, what am I? Right? I, uh, yeah, I, I screwed that up. Because I pressed the wrong button. There we go. It's because I pressed the wrong button to pause. I pressed select instead of start. Because I needed to change my equip to the feather. And then <laughs> trying to repause, it took too much time. But yeah, that, that is so good. Like that strat is so much better than it was. Like I definitely appreciate that a lot more than the old D2 skit. Yeah, this game's kind of broken. Not nearly as broken as something like Ocarina of Time, but it's broken. You can do some stuff with it. How many known glitches are there for this game? There's really not that many different things. It's just there's a lot of different applications for things. Like the main thing is text warping. Um, like that, that's like the big one. That allows a lot of the breaking. Um, and then there's like the glitched map tile. Which kind of like breaks open the entirety of the end game.
And then there's like tricks like bomb jumping and stuff and shield boosting. Like those aren't really glitches, those are just kind of tricks that you can do. But they still, you know, help you sequence break and whatnot. So I'm curious how these splits are going to look like, because uh, this is a fairly new split for me, this raft split. So I don't have a lot of attempts against it. I think I only have the one. I don't know if I had first try bomb jump uh, in that attempt. I guess we'll see. We'll see how this plays out. That was awful. That menu is garbage. Oh yeah, I actually don't remember when I split for this. If I split on the cutscene or what. I think maybe I split on enter cutscene. Or wash up on shore. Hello! No, I think it's wash up on shore. Maybe? Yeah, let's do it on Wash Up on Shore. That sounds about right. Yeah, that's it. That's where I split.
Yeah, this area is kind of bad <laughs> when you're playing casually. In a speedrun sense, it's not bad at all. Since you're able to do the shovel duping. Like, shovel duping makes this area tolerable. Like, the idea of having to go back and forth and 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 back and forth. Did I say that enough times? Oh yeah, shovel duping. I'm gonna do it right now. It's really cool. So when you uh, get your item back from uh, from the shopkeeper here, you have one frame to pull out a bomb. If you pull out a bomb on that frame, uh, the item will just drop on the floor instead. Because you have something in your hand. But of course, you gotta hit that one frame. So this can be kind of tricky, especially when you're rusty. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're good. a little bit, but we got it. And you have to dupe a couple shovels there, because number one, uh, you have to get both items. So you have to give shovels for each item. And number two, you want to still have the shovel remaining afterward. And that cuts out about half, maybe more of this area. Just because you're able to have both the feather and the bracelet at the same time. And you have your shovel, so you don't have to go back to the shopkeeper to get the shovel as well. You have all three of the items that you need, so you can just kind of continue on. You don't have to worry about doing the entire... Um, Sense seedling quest. You don't have to do the mini game. You don't have to plant the seedling and then uh, go to the tree in the present. None of that. Like, normally at this point, getting to the here is like literally only halfway. Because once you have the harp, that lets you start doing the uh, the seedling quest. Instead, we just get to go straight to the dungeon. Because we have all of our items. We don't need to do anything more. Okay, we lost a bit of time because the shovel duping was bad, but yeah, I'm okay with that.
because this run is literally just for de-rusting purposes. And just seeing where I'm at in terms of, like, what I need to practice and whatnot. I'm not expecting much out of this. I missed! Okay, so the RNG Manip is done. <laughs> yeah, rip that. How did I miss? I mean, it might be possible. It's done. Yeah, the RNG just rolled a little too far. It's fine. Uh, we didn't really need that manip. We can do without it. It's a good manip. Definitely a good manip to have. But we can still make this work. Going great. Uh, there we go. Is there a manip to get into Varen's lair without all the essences? I mean, technically, yes. Because you do... <laughs> you do Varen warp. And that... I... It's not really a manip, though. Thank you. 
Almost got the one cycle. It was close. We definitely could have done it. Of course not! Why would I get sent seeds on the first try? There we go. Really? Alright, we made it. We made it through. Yeah, I'm definitely losing a bunch of time here. That's partly from missing the minute. Oh, that was weird. I guess I'm not losing that much time? I feel like I should have lost, like, a year. I only lost, like, 30 seconds. right there. I'm not going to buy the shield because I'm not going to do D4 skip. I'm not doing D4 skip because I'm just not practiced in it at all. I got clipped to the wrong side of the bridge. 
I thought I went around, but apparently not. I knew I was going to get hit. It was inevitable. It didn't matter what happened there, I was going to get hit. By something. I don't know why it's so hard to drop Dimitri on that screen. Like, the whole point of doing that is to skip a text box, and... <laughs> I feel like I waste more time just trying to drop Dimitri than I, I would have just getting the text box. So Talus Peaks is still Talus Peaks. <laughs> Whether you're playing vanilla or rando, it's the exact same thing. Did I just... Hello? I played this song twice! I'm just gonna lose time because I played the song twice! If 
Apparently I didn't lose time. Somehow. I have no idea how. Also, I think my internet's dying again. I do not have it on. <laughs> that seems like a very large amount of damage that I took without having the power ring on. Seems weird to me. Like, there's really not much that changes in this part. Like, it's gonna be very similar every time you play it. The only things that might change are, like, some of these patterns, and you have to just adapt to them. Or, you know, mashing A with harp and, uh, getting a song. Yeah, I'm going to lose some more time here. I mean, I, I didn't really expect to be competitive with my PB. But it's still annoying to lose time. Though I can probably still PB. Uh, 
I have a lot of time to save at the end. I am a little concerned about my health right now. So I am kind of taking this a little safe and getting some health. Now I'm fine. Really? I definitely feel like I need to uh, work on D4 skips so I can not have to worry about all this garbage. Why are you in there? Stay out of my lane. Please. Please stay away from me. Well, I'm at full health. I don't need to worry about getting the ferry here, so I can save a few seconds there. Alright, let's go. Well, I saved a little bit of time. 
Not a lot. I can save a lot of time on that split if I just do D4 skip and get it. This next little bit's not too bad. Like, D D5 is super quick. Like, this will be over before you really even know it. Okay, that was bad. That was real bad. I could have done that better. I could have done a lot of things better. Yeah, this dungeon's so long. We're done. See ya. I'm gonna get a fairy. I'm grabbing that fairy because I don't like my health situation. Now, we've got a lot of mini games to play here. We're going to be playing mini games for a while. Now pay attention to my inputs here.
Like, you'll notice that I, I throw in a, a start every once in a while. That is my uh, rest. And that keeps me on beat. Yeah, definitely give it a try. Uh, it might take a little getting used to, but once you get used to it, it's it's really nice. And helped me a lot with uh, the Bomber's Ring stuff in 100%. Hopefully I can get Fire Manip. Fire Manip's not too bad. And I know how to kill Fire now, so it's good. Don't you just love how long this part is? I love doing a million minigames, doing some trades. Doing even more minigames. get the first mermaid key by doing uh, this game here, the Big Bang game. And then you get the second one by doing Dancing 2. Oh, 
come on, I'm pressing A. I'm definitely not used to the Japanese text boxes. I'm not used to how short they are. Like, normally that's a good thing, right? Shorter text boxes is good, but in this case... I just keep over mashing. used to think the mermaid keys looked like toothbrushes when you were a kid. I... I can see that. Alright, I might lose some time here. I'm not sure exactly how much time it is between now and getting into the, the dungeon. Yeah, I'm probably going to lose time. Because I don't think it's going to be four seconds. Yeah. It's only going to be a few seconds, but it's fine. Alright, let's go. Dungeon 6, the hardest part of the run. I'm gonna need more scent seeds at some point. That's not good. I did not want to see that. There we go. Surprisingly, Jabu is not bad. It's just very specific. I, I think that's the best way to describe Jabu, is you have to do things in a very specific order.
Alright, I think we're good. Alright, we're looking good so far. Need to equip? Yeah. Got him. Nice. Nice. Let's go. I double tap that, but no, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Double tap prevention. Yo, Zeke, what's up? Thanks for <laughs> thanks for the good luck. Yeah, that was a pretty good buyer. I actually got the minute for once. And I got the full minute. I didn't just like screw up on the last part. Oh, I should probably uh, take that off. Yep, we're gonna lose the potion here. That's fine. I screwed this up. There we go. Eh, not too bad. Definitely would have been better if I didn't screw up the, the thing. But I'm okay. I probably should have waited and not use the, a seed. Yeah, if I didn't use a seed and have it covering up my, my sounds, I think we would've been fine.
Alright, where's the other one? There you are. Cool. Actually, not in a terrible spot. Alright, cool, we got it. Oh man, I haven't practiced this at all, so I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Will I be going for PB or a record or anything soon? Uh, I mean, I want to get PB for sure. I'm definitely not going to go for record. Okay, I, I definitely think I screwed that up. Uh, I think my RNG was really bad. Because I... The Wiz Robe and Wall Master Room was really bad. So I think that rolled way too far. That's the one thing I didn't really practice in terms of... Uh, this this skip here I didn't practice that room I practiced the end which is the part that worries me the most but I didn't practice the getting to the end and that's half the battle Alright, here we go! Yeah, I had a feeling. Uh, wait, I don't really need that. Do yeah, I don't really need, uh, the health refill, do I? Okay, this has a legitimate shot of PB. <laughs> By, like, three minutes. Or, like, two and a half minutes, probably. Alright, you know what? I think... I think my computer is just, like, dying. So let me do a few things here. <laughs> Try and help it. Because I'm noticing my time is not very smooth.
All right, I think that helped a little bit. I don't know. I think my computer is just dying. <laughs> Alright, we're maybe going to save some time here? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how long this cutscene actually is. No, we're, we're not going to save time. <laughs> We're gonna lose a couple seconds. Okay. But we can still save like a million years on this last part. As long as I do this right, we can save a million years. Oh no, we don't go in there. We don't go in there! We go in the other one. I'm joking! I'm joking! Now we'll be fine. Alright, oh, uh, let's go. That wasn't it? No! I'm choking! I'm choking! I'm actually choking. There it is. Okay. Well, we... We did PB. Wasn't sub-140, unfortunately.
but for a D-Rust run, I mean, I'll take it. That's probably a, a 140-41, because I'm sure that that was a late split by at least a frame or two. <laughs> I'm sure that was at least a couple frames late. But yeah, that was... That was a run, I guess. I mean, this is gonna be... These are gonna be some fun splits to run against. Let's start taking a look at these splits. Let's do the post-run breakdown. So, our start wasn't great, but it was still okay. Uh, we didn't get extended minute, so we could we could definitely do a little bit better at the at the start. Um, Even even then, we still are a minute ahead. I don't understand. Um, D2 skip was second try. Uh, I forgot to hit the split on entering the cave. I probably don't even need that split, to be honest, but... It exists, I guess. I could probably just turn that into a D2 skip split and just do it on exit. That might be better. Because we should get D2 skip, like, first or second try pretty much every time. Um, D3 was a mess. We screwed up the manip really bad. We screwed up so early, so... So everything was wrong. So we lose we lost a bunch of time there that we could have saved. Um Talus Peaks. Talus Peaks wasn't that good. Um D4 was okay, but again, D4 skip, we can save a bunch of time there. Uh, D5 was okay. Minigames were okay. Um, we got fire, fire Minip all the way, which is cool. I uh, didn't get to extend it to the boss key, unfortunately. I might have been able to just salvage it, but I needed to not use Pegasus Seeds in the uh in the big the boss key room because that that messed up with my uh my audio cues and then we screwed up the minip for the final key skip i think it was the the room where you had to bomb the the blocks i think that really screwed it up Uh, we had a va a bad Veraneru, and then <laughs> we also had a very we had a pretty bad uh, credits warp setup as well. That was what second try setup. Shouldn't be second try ever. But yeah, it's PB. I'll take it.